All right, welcome back for a new course. We are at Kiwi Key, as I'm going to say it. Actually, really lovely uh, setup here. We got some kind of isolated track. Uh, each hole stands on its own, and then we're covered by all of these different colored trees and fall motif. Uh, we get the lines on the fairway, which I like. And we start off with a decent little drive and about 93 in. That one looks a little far. Check. Not a bad start. Not a bad round either. I'd have a blow up on like 3, 4, and 5. And then just steady pars the rest of the way we get through the rest of the hole. So bear with me here. Uh, you'll see some of the uh, garage sim coming together there on the swing cams. Almost done. I have one more major part left, and that's the roof. I have a big like kitchen light that I'm going to install up there, and then I'm also going to put a cover, paint it black, and do a little LED strip. So, some one more like little project out there to complete everything, but it's looking really good. That's. I've had this like really active right hand, yeah, showing you on the camera there. Bunker shot from 21 yards is fine, and we will move on to the third where I think here's part of my downfall. Lovely little par three, 200 yards down the hill, creek on the left. Just that overactive right hand again. Really not a bad shot. Would have been fine. But we go cart path. And then get nestled up against the ridge. I try once. Hit the ridge. Come straight back there. Now I... Something I rarely do, but sim drop time to the front of the green. That's... Uh, this is the fifth shot. And I duff it. So we go... Uh, a seven yeah a plus four on one hole so not ideal but the rest of the round really is like normal golf for the most part a little par five action here on the fourth 531 yards again we got the stream going down the left hand side the the hills are quite extreme on the banks of some of these holes. But a really lovely course. I'm pretty sure this is a new one, although the name kind of sounds familiar to me. I'm wondering if it was remade recently or not. Um, B Mac 13213, I think, is the designer. Um, so if you see this, let me know if this is brand new or if this is a remake of uh, Kiwi Key. Fourth hole, no, fifth hole, par four, only 347. I thought the distances and stuff were fine from the blues uh, for someone with my caliber driving, basically. 128 remaining, kind of hit that one really low and compressed it and just carried it a little too far. Chipping back towards the hole and an unnecessary bogey there to go to plus five. Big dog leg left par five here. It actually comes back around to the right when you get there. Start off not good. Flailing out to the right hand side. Held up on the bank though, so we'll... Uh, We'll do that. Didn't really play the bank, so it went straight left. And then again, on this side of the bank, hitting straight right. Kind of a blow-up hole happening here. 130 remaining. Finally aimed a little away from the slope. Unfortunately, finding the fringe. Another chip here on six. And that's just to save bogey. So we're at plus six through six, which not ideal. 
But from here on out, I don't think we have another bogey. So just kind of steady golf from here on. And we go to see Kiwi Key without too many interruptions and back and forths here. Decent strike on seven, just right of the pin. Nice par three over water. Elevated green a little bit. Eighth hole's a par four, three, six, three. Little dog leg right. Um, the creek disappears after a certain amount, so not a huge factor. Really spinny one. 150 remaining. And that is in the bunker. Short right bunker, gonna splash this one out from 12. So if you like checking out these courses on GS Pro, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to save up the channel proceeds, which are not high, trust me, they're like 30 bucks a month. I'm trying to save those up um, to get a new computer. That's the new goal for the channel, is a new gaming computer. If anyone out there is getting rid of one, hit me up. I will buy it. Uh, what I have right now is like a GTX 1660, right? So any rig that has like a decent processor and uh, a better graphics card would be better than what I'm using. Pretty common question, actually. My computer is just an old Dell Optiplex with an i5-5000 and loaded it up with as much RAM as I could. But overall, the graphics card is what's doing a lot of the work, and it's a pretty old one at this point, and the courses are getting more and more and more amazing. Trying to go through that gap. Hero shot. Didn't quite make it, and now we have 170 yards here to save par and uh, actually hit a really nice like low shot right at the pin it almost goes in for a birdie that would have been awesome but we'll take the par there and head to 11 362 yard par 4 here another dog leg you barely ever see the green here uh, from the tee box. Everything's kind of blocked out by trees and hills and the, the slope of the course. I think the thing that catches me the most is definitely the, the tree colors. Um, when you're surrounded by all these different shades of greens and tans and reds, uh, it definitely brings you into that environment uh, when you're playing rather than seeing like a really flat um like what did i play i played a course that was pretty old oak query and uh it was just like one color tone the whole course everywhere and it really came across kind of like eh. so i do appreciate when uh, the course designers work so hard on getting everything to look like uh you know appalachian trail in the fall type of thing. I'm assuming that's a lot more work. All right, like I said, just plugging along at plus six. We're going to the 13th, another par three, 167 yards. That right hand just rolling everything over. I think this does stay on the green. No, catches the fairway. And a short chip saves par. Um, Gold Mountain Olympic, I believe, is coming up next. And then I'm going to have a little uh, summary of all the work done in the sim space for those of you who are interested. I know there's a few people who are getting ready to build their own or want some ideas on how to make their space better. Um, I'm going to go through kind of what I did and why. And then... Soon I do want to get the uh, the ceiling wrapped up and the lights up there and everything, but I uh, just haven't had the time. It's a par five. We did make it over the water, so that's going to be a par. 
could have been an easy birdie if we just caught the second shot good. 15th, another par 4, another dog leg where you can't quite see where you're going. We got water in front this time. A really terrible drive there. But short hole end up 144 away. I was hoping that drew. I could tell I was trying to get inside of the ball, but kind of just pushed it out to the right. And it's safely on the green. So a couple holes left. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see Gold Mountain Olympic uh, Golf Club. That one should be the next one up. I believe I then went back and played a couple really old courses. Um, ones that are like two years old from way back when GS Pro started. And uh, those should be fun to look at. See if they're still holding up for today's standards in... Uh, Really a different version of GS Pro and, and a lot of other things going on there. Second shot, pretty nice. Throw it up there. 20 yards away. Should be able to get a birdie here. What do we think? Not even close. Fluffed it straight up in the air. That's two par fives that we could have knocked that score down. But two more holes remaining. 17th and uphill par three. Playing like 195. like an okay strike but maybe just kind of took it a little too easy on that swing it does creep into the par circle and uh we'll head over to 18 i eat my words you can see the green here from 18 not much of a dog leg kind of sprayed that out to the right but we should have a little uphill shot to end the round Again, we got GS Pro, we got uh, Unicorn I Mini coming up, we have Gold Mountain Olympic, which was a really nice course coming up, and then we have uh, the finish of the golf sim space. We're going to try and do a live stream this weekend with a new course in the new space, and uh, overall just a lot of fun stuff going on in the channel this summer. So we'll get, we'll get outside some too. Just make sure you are uh, like, subscribe, and the bell. And uh, we'll take care of you. Get you some stuff to watch there on the YouTube. Blue tees were only 6,300 yards. We actually did pretty good on greens and fairways. Just those two blow-up holes really killed us. We'll see you next time. Peace out.